Hello, we're from the Danish Theosophical Project Aarhus. Today we will show some of the ideas in Theosophical Cosmology. It's a vast subject, but we will look only at a fraction of it, a fraction concerning the Earth and some of the life associated with it. Luckily, we don't have to forget our modern scientific knowledge, as we will see there is some scientific evidence to support the Theosophical ideas. But theosophical ideas go a bit further where materialistic science doesn't go. First we look at a fundamental idea in theosophy where cosmology and human life take place. The planes of existence. To get a grab of the planes of existence we look at ourselves. Each human consists of a physical body and some other bodies known as the aura. In short, we consider our emotions to take place on the astral plane, our thoughts on the lower mental plane, and our higher aspirations on the higher mental plane, which is the home of the human soul. That the physical plane is drawn bigger here is only for layered purposes. As the knowledge of the planes is ancient, we use words from the Sanskrit language. The planes from Buddhi and up are of still finer graduation, and human beings are not normally conscious of these higher planes. Now that we can relate a little bit to the planes, let's have a look at the cosmology that also functions on these planes. The planets sort of incarnate on the seven planes and life with it. In the course of many, many years, the first planet emerges on the Atma plane, then the second planet emerges on the Buddhi plane, and so on until there are seven planets. Life incarnates seven times, and after that all life leaves this chain of globes forever, and all globes dissolve. This sort of repeats itself seven times, but on other planes, as you see here in fast motion. What's the point of all this? Well, a short answer is that there are two flows. One flow of spiritual entities that gradually goes down into physical matter, and another flow of entities that moves up towards spirituality. This leads us to a definition of the word religion, which means to go back, which is the upward arrow. In this perspective, the purpose of religion is to help humanity to move towards spirituality. It is worth to mention that the actual types of religion change on humanity's way up as requirements change on the way up. Now it's time to look at our own planet's place in all this. What is special about our system's actual state is that Earth almost just now passed the middle of the system's development. As we can see, there should be two more globes on the physical plane, but what are they? There is some dispute about this in theosophical circles, whether these planets are Mars and Mercury. What all theosophical sources agree on is that our moon is a reminiscence of a former chain of planets in our system, and that it has been much larger than it is, and that it will disappear before the seventh round. That our moon is older than the Earth is backed up by science, which states that the oldest rocks on the moon are much older than the oldest rocks on Earth. We have to say that the theosophical sources on this subject date back to before man visited the moon. What we have seen is that life moves from one globe to another globe in a predefined manner. Now let's take a look at the kind of life forms that cover the globes. As we saw earlier, the whole point of cosmology is to make possible the movement from spirituality to physical matter and back to spirituality. This is accomplished by letting the entities of consciousness pass through different types of life forms called kingdoms. Let's follow an entity's journey through these kingdoms. 
In the first chain, the entity incarnates as an elemental life form, and it actually does this until it reaches the bottom as physical matter in the mineral kingdom. After hitting the bottom in the mineral kingdom, the journey to spirituality begins and cycles through these kingdoms. When all the kingdoms are traveled through, the entity chooses a new path to go, where one of many is to enter the well-known word Nirvana, which is a life which takes place on planes higher than the Atma plane. This was a standard journey through the kingdoms. For some entities, the journey differs because they are either faster or slower than the standard journey, or have begun their journey through the kingdoms at another plane. What makes the journey through the human kingdoms faster? Well, Theosophy doesn't promise a speedy way to the heavens if you follow some exact rules or are a strong believer, but some qualities are mentioned. Do your best to avoid gross vibrations of violent passion, war and the slaughter of animals, undisciplined passions and desire for conflict, scientific materialism. Do your best to aim at the spiritual life. In the conflict of good and evil, choose the good side. Do service to the brotherhood. Work unselfishly onward and upward. Be harmless.